We're new on Sunrise, if you've not heard the term PFAS before, you'll want to listen to this. It's a group of more than 4,000 chemicals that could be in your drinking water and even in your everyday items. Yes, yeah, Samantha is back right now after visiting a lab at Purdue where researchers still have a lot of questions to answer. A lot of questions, and I understand why it can be slow because, as you mentioned, 4,000 chemicals in this group called PFAS that can take some time to navigate those different chemical compounds. So there are still a lot of questions, but here's what we do know. PFAS chemicals, they're known as forever chemicals, and that's because they can last in our environment for a very long time, and they're hard to get rid of. So when it comes to our exposure, there's a couple main ways. Experts want you to first think of products in your home that may be stain resistant, okay? We're talking about some of our food prep items. That could be pots and pans that advertise themselves as being stain resistant. Also Tupperware, right? If you're storing some of your food in these items as well, but stain resistant could also be carpets or furniture, things like that too. The other thing to keep in mind is water resistant. So if you're thinking about outerwear, this is an old rain jacket I had at my apartment. This might be coated in some of those PFAS chemicals. Also makeup, unfortunately, when you think of waterproof mascara or lipsticks or foundations, those may also contain PFAS. And here's why this is important. I want you to come with me over here because experts say these chemicals really could have long lasting health impacts on you if you're exposed to them over time. We're talking about things like cancer, thyroid diseases, even immune system issues over time. So I want you to check this out. I got to visit a lab up at Purdue where they are using fish to research how these chemicals could impact our bodies over time, to really learn more about the effect on us. This is only really one small part of the research being done right now statewide. And Dr. Jennifer Freeman says this isn't meant to make you throw out your entire kitchen, but rather just be aware that these chemicals are out there and they're not going away anytime soon. Also, it's the realization that there's you know, we make advances in technologies all the time and it's wonderful because they're convenient to our life. They create new ways that we can complete things and, you know, more efficiently and economically, but it's also important to consider whether or not they're presenting additional health risks to us. And so that kind of comes the balance. So this really begs the question, okay, what can I do today to mm -hmm. kind of limit my exposure to these chemicals? A couple things, obviously we talked about stain resistant, water resistant, maybe avoid some of those products. They're easy, right? And they yeah. help us in our daily lives. But if you can, maybe choose other options. Also a water filter on mm -hmm. your kitchen or in your home, always a good idea as we kind of test more wells across the state to learn more about possible contamination. And then lastly, I wanted to point this out. We're so familiar to using and buying products that are labeled BPA free. That's more of a common thing that we're seeing these days. And the experts say soon, start keeping an eye out for labels that are PFAS free as well, mm. especially as we start learning more about the potential risks, more products will be using those labels. Yeah, and there's so many, we were talking, there's so many labels on the back of, you know, yes like these <laughs> items here and you have to kind of Google what exactly they are, but it, that's a good idea. And know? that's something else she mentioned. Maybe spend a little time doing your own research, research yeah. your favorite brand, your favorite company. A lot of them have policy statements online about their use of chemicals. So another tip. I'm going to start yeah. packing my lunch in glass Tupperware there instead of the plastic. I learned that <laughs> earlier this morning. All right, Samantha, thank you so much. Great information there.